first half of the video is about basic utility functions in R. Um, these are some utility functions that you can commonly use to um, perform some important actions, basic actions. Um, so the first one is get wd. And that would actually get you the location of the current working directory. So right now in my Linux system it is Media Shire, but if you use a Windows system you'd see something like C colon backslash and blah blah blah. But if I want to change this directory to a different directory, I could perhaps say set WD and DIR is the parameter and I would set it to media shire bj or research. So after setting this if you go back and if you did get WD again you'd find that the directory has changed. Um, the next utility function would be ls um, ls would actually list all objects that are currently in your environment. The global environment is whatever that you see on the right hand side over here and it has a set of variables and when you do ls it will just specify all the variables that are currently available in the environment. Now you could actually remove a variable from the environment um, by using the rm function or the remove function. So I could perhaps say rm a and it will remove the variable a. So if I list it, you can see that the variable a is not there. Now you could actually remove using the remove command also and I'm going to remove C and C the variable C is gone. Now I could actually remove a set of variables by suggesting remove um, list equals C um, DF comma F and you'd see an error the reason for that is that it would expect a string argument and if you replace it as a string it would work. So now we've gotten rid of df and f also. Now we have four variables in the environment and we could get rid of those if I want to get rid of all of them all I have to say is remove list equals ls and when you perform that everything gets erased and as you can see on the right hand side your environment is empty. Um, but be very cautious when you use remove list equals ls as it would get rid of everything and you may lose your work and you don't want to have, um, lose um, any important work that you've saved. The next utility function would be list.files and when you use list.files it would show you every single folder and every single file in the current working directory. Um, you could actually get a subset of um, files by suggesting list.files pattern equals w. So when you do that you can see it will return every directory or file that has a W in it. So if you want to list files in a current directory, you could use list of files and you could also do it by using by matching a pattern. Um, the next utility function that I find quite useful would be paste zero. Paste zero it is actually used to concatenate strings. So if I want to do paste zero um, to concatenate strings, say for instance my current
comma name comma is comma Gandalf period and if you hit enter you'd find that there is no space between each word um, sometimes this is quite useful but in other instances perhaps this is not the best way that we might want a space between words so if you want to have a space between words you can say paste my comma name comma is comma Gandalf and this time you find that you have a string that is created um, and you will see that there is uh, or there are spaces um, in the string so these are some of the utility functions um, basic utility functions that are commonly used in R and you know to conclude um, I would like to clear the console and you could always do that by hitting control L thank you